In YouTube, I figured I would do a quick final update on my uh, bubble LG removal little video series that I've done. Um, you haven't seen part one and two, go back and uh, check those out. But it's been about, it's been a little more than four months since the first video I posted where my tank was completely overrun with bubble LG. Um, and so the point of this video series was just to see how long it would take for a single fox face, which you can see there right in the middle of my tank, to um, collect, to basically like clear all the bubble algae from the tank without me actually having to go in and remove any of it. Um, so this is that final video. Um, the only place where I physically put my hand in the tank and removed bubble algae was on the Nero pumps, just because I didn't want the bubble algae to disrupt the flow. But um, other than that, I did nothing to remove the bubble algae. Um, did a couple water changes since the first video, but that's about it as far as cleaning goes. Um, but yeah, you can see, I would say the bubble algae is 99% gone at first glance. You don't really see it anywhere, but if you look really close, you can find it in certain spots where the fox face can't reach, um, like in some crevices on my frag rack in there. Um, you can see there's a little bit of bubble algae there. Um, and then also like between the glass and the rock, there's a little bit right there. But I'm pretty sure if I like rotated the rock, you would take care of it pretty quick. Um, so yeah, that's an update. All the corals are doing really well. You can see my Kojiwata Nephthia has probably doubled in size since my original video. So I think I'm gonna do a, a video pretty shortly just on all the different Nephthias that I have. Um, this Capnella has been producing a ton of frags. I've gotten probably like 30 to 35 different frags from it. You can see I've got four right there. Um, in my local, my local saltwater uh, coral shop here in Naperville, Illinois, buys them off of me for like 10 bucks. So that one coral that I paid 40 bucks for on Live Aquaria has made me like 300 bucks, which is kind of cool. Um, additionally, I bought a uh, innovative marine ext 100 that i still have not set up yet um, but we'll see when i get around to, to putting that together um, so that would be a nice upgrade going from a 40 gallon to a 100 gallon i'm sure my fish would like that um, so yeah thanks for watching if you've got uh anything else you want to see just let me know in the comments thanks